so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, we made it to Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah, and I am so excited to learn all about jobs. Let's go. Woohoo! This is one of my favorite places. This is a pizza oven inside of a pizza restaurant. Ooh. One job that you can have when you grow up is to be a chef. Ooh. Chefs are so cool. <laughs> yeah, chefs are in charge of cooking all of the food at a restaurant. And I really like cooking pizza. <sighs> Oh, it's so tasty! Oh. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you and I make a pizza together? <laughs> okay, here we go. First, we need one of these pizza paddles to put the pizza in the really hot oven because we don't want to touch it with our hands. Mm -mm. Okay, get that and we'll get a metal plate. Hmm. So first things first, we need to start with the pizza dough. <laughs> yeah. We'll get the pizza dough right here. Ooh. And sometimes when you get the pizza dough, it's crumpled up into a little ball. So you have to stretch it. And sometimes spin it. Whoa! <laughs> like this. And that helps to make it look like a circle. Yeah, look. It's a circle. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Put the pizza dough down. And now we get to put on some yummy toppings. <laughs> hey. Do you have a favorite pizza topping? Uh, I like that one too. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we'll put on some tomato sauce. Oh, and my favorite cheese. Oh, <laughs> I love pizza with lots of cheese. <laughs> okay, we'll put the cheese there. And now we can put all the toppings. We have some spinach. Ooh, <laughs> so tasty. And we have black olives. Whoa. <laughs> And they're all sliced up. Yeah, put those there. We have, whoa, <laughs> woo. <laughs> Do you know what these are? Yeah, these are mushrooms. We'll put these on too. We'll put on some onions, ooh. <laughs> and then once you get your pizza made, then put it into the oven. You'll wait. And it looks like our pizza is delicious <gasps> and all done, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we get to go put it in a box. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, you did a really good job making a pizza with me. And now it's my favorite part. <laughs> we get to eat the pizza. <gasps> mm, this pizza is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And that's because you helped me make it. Aw, thanks so much. Wow, that was so cool learning about being a chef and making a lot of yummy pizza. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look over here. Whoa, there are so many different types of animals. I love animals. Hey, do you have a favorite kind of animal? <laughs> yeah. I like that animal too. Whoa, look, we have some kitty cats and we have, hmm, this looks like a really big puppy dog. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and look, we have a really colorful parrot and a bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, let's go get a closer look, come on. Look at this place. This place is a veterinarian's office. Yeah, a veterinarian or a vet. And that's a person that takes care of hurt or sick animals. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look, we have some really cute animals here. Hello. <laughs> ah, this is such a cute puppy, but we want to make sure that this puppy is okay. So the first thing you can do is take it to get an MRI. Yeah. An MRI. It's basically a scanner that uses magnets to take pictures of this puppy, but not pictures on the outside where it's smiling. <laughs> pictures of all the stuff inside, like its bones, 
to make sure they're not broken, and this puppy is doing really okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, puppy. Whoa, look at it. The MRI is showing the inside of this puppy's leg. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, this puppy seems to be pretty okay, but it looks like it hurt its leg, so we're gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. The first thing we wanna do is put a bandage on its leg. So I'll use some dots. Oh, look, <laughs> we did it. We bandaged up this puppy. He's gonna be all better real soon. And the next thing we wanna do is give this puppy some medicine. Here you go, puppy. Up, up, <laughs> He's happy and feeling better already. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing we wanna do is we want to put this cone around its head because sometimes puppies get really playful and they take off their bandages. We don't want to take it off until he's all better. <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> yeah. I love being a veterinarian. Being a vet with you was really fun because we got to learn about animals and take care of them if they get sick or hurt. <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome. What it is? It's a fire truck. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, fire trucks are so cool. And look at this. It has really big wheels and tires. Whoa. <laughs> and really bright headlights and a metal bumper. <laughs> I bet it would be really fun to ride in one of these. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wow. It is so much fun riding in a fire truck. And look up here, yeah. This right here is the firefighter's siren. And it goes like this. Yeah, when a firefighter has to go and help people from a fire, they turn this on and they honk their horns. And that lets everyone know in the area that there's an emergency and they should move off the street. Yeah, so they can get there nice and quick and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. This is a very important part of a fire truck. This is the fire ladder. And it's really helpful for helping firefighters get up to really high buildings to save people and to use their hose to put out the fires. Oh look, and these are the valves where you hook up the hose but this is a really big fire hose. It's not like a regular hose you might have in your yard. <laughs> it's really, really, really powerful <sighs> to push out the fires and make everyone safe. <laughs> yeah, come on. Whoa, look at this. This is the fire pole. Whoa, the fire pole is really helpful because in a firehouse, the firefighters, they live up on the second floor and the fire truck is on the first floor. So the pole helps them not have to take the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this? Yeah, this is a firefighter's uniform. It is so cool because it's fireproof. Yeah, if you or I were in a fire, that would be really dangerous because our clothes are flammable. They can catch on fire, but not a firefighter they can go and save you because they're fireproof. Whoa, did you see the helmet? Yeah, look at this. This firefighter has a really cool yellow helmet and that protects their head from anything that might fall on it. Ooh, whoa, did you see this? <laughs> yeah, this is the really powerful fire hose. Whoa, this is so cool. There are so many different uh, adjustment valves and look is really really big so that it can have a very powerful spray to put out all the fires <laughs> yeah wow maybe one day you and i can be firefighters too we can help save people but to be a firefighter you have to be really really brave yeah brave hey do you know what being brave means yeah when you're brave, that means you might be scared of something, but you do it anyway, because you're gonna help, help people and keep them safe. <laughs> well, 
I really want to do a job that will help people too. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. Yeah, a job that you can do when you grow up is being a nurse. <laughs> yeah, being a nurse is a really great job because you help take care of others and make sure they get better when they might be sick. <laughs> Let's go see everything that a nurse does. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Did you see it? This right here is a skeleton. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many bones. Yeah, bones. Do you know what a bone is? Yeah, these are different types of bones and a bone is what helps make you up. Yeah, helps you stand nice and tall. Ooh, yeah, it's right under your skin. Bones are really important and it's important to take care of your bones. Well, it's really good to learn about bones because if you ever break a bone, you can go to a nurse and they can help you. Come on. Ooh, look at this box. It's really bright. Ah! <laughs> This will help us look at different kinds of x-rays. Yeah. Whoa, this right here, this is an x-ray. And it kind of just looks like a dark sheet. <laughs> but it actually is a picture of the inside of your hand. So when you put it up here, you can read the x-ray. Yeah. You can see all the different bones inside your hand. Whoa. And this is really helpful to take a picture, an x-ray of your hand, because if you break a bone, the nurse can say, hmm, you broke this bone and now we can fix it. Okay. <laughs> wow, x-rays and nurses are pretty amazing. Whoa, and look at this over here. Another thing you do when you go see a nurse, is you see how tall you are. Whoa, look, I'm five feet and 11 inches tall. That's pretty tall. <laughs> hey, do you know how tall you are? Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty tall too. And I bet when you grow up, you'll be even taller. Maybe five foot 11 or six foot or six foot one inch or seven feet tall. Whoa, that's really tall. <laughs> Being a nurse is an amazing job. Maybe one day I'll be a nurse when I grow up and I can help make people feel better. <laughs> yeah. Well. This was really exciting. Hey, I'll see you in just one second. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different types of jobs. <laughs> there were a lot of them. Whoa! <laughs> hey, which one was your favorite job? <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot too. It was really fun doing that with you. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this over here! Come on! Whoa, <laughs> do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. Whoa, that means it's time for the Curiosity Corner, where you and I get to learn all types of things. <laughs> hmm, but I wonder what we're gonna learn today. I guess you and I are just gonna have to find out. I'm so excited, let's go. Welcome to the Curiosity Corner, where we get to paint a really beautiful picture together. <laughs> and it looks like we have everything we need. We have our paints. Ooh, <laughs> look, we have three different colors. Blue, yellow, and red. <laughs> These colors are really important because they're primary colors. And primary colors are used to mix, get mixed up and make every other color in the rainbow. So we're gonna use these to paint a beautiful picture. Well, we're gonna need our palette with paints and a paintbrush. Okay, so let's wet our brush first. Then we get the paint. Okay, so first we wanna make a really cool orange because it's my favorite fruit and favorite color. So we'll start with some yellow. Whoa, <laughs> it's so fun to mix up the paint. We're gonna make a circle. <laughs> Whoa, look, 
we made a yellow circle, but it's not quite the right color. So now we're gonna add another primary color, red. Just a little bit of red, and a little bit of water, and then we can mix it up to make an orange. Whoa, look at how pretty that color is. It has little bits of red, and little bits of yellow, and a lot of bit of orange. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun learning about colors with you and painting a really pretty picture. It's time for me to go wash out my brush. <laughs> Oops, looks like we got some traffic here. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different kinds of jobs with you. <laughs> Whoa, there were so many different kinds. <laughs> well, even if you didn't pick your favorite today, that's okay. You have all the time in the world. <laughs> Just keep on exploring and being curious, and I'm sure you'll find what you will want to do when you grow up. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun with these trucks. This fire truck, and recycling truck, whoa, and this construction vehicle with an excavator arm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. <laughs>